my name is Mila and this is my Ladybug collection. Once, on our wedding anniversary, my husband wanted to surprise me and he found an antique Russian ladybug made by Karl Fabergé. Catching a new item is becoming increasingly difficult over the years. Because I don't strive to collect everything, I strive to collect really unique things that tell a story. Once I was given a bouquet of flowers. I took it to the hotel room and it was standing there in a vase for about a week or so. And then, when the roses began to wilt, I saw something glittering on the stem. There was no note, only the bouquet. And most importantly, how did this person know about my ladybug obsession? Or maybe it was just a coincidence? Anyway, a very mysterious story. Like any collector, sometimes I think what I'm going to do with my collection next. But to be honest, I don't want to open any museums. Museums are too serious. If I could afford it, I would open a ladybug cafe right here in Toronto. I have enough ladybugs to fill an entire room with an unusual decor. If I'm lucky and they say that a ladybug is a symbol of good luck, my dream will come true sooner or later.